Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. NE versus NI. Extroverted intuition versus introverted intuition. Which one do you use? Everybody has an intuition function in their cognitive stack. Some of us prioritize it higher than others. It is one of our information gathering functions and they're always linked to a sensing function. So on the one hand, you have sensing where you use the five senses to gather information. And on the other hand, you have intuition, which is sort of like a sixth sense, an inner knowing, gut feeling. Regardless, everybody uses it in one way or another. Those of you with intuition in your hero or parent function, that is the first and second slot in your cognitive stack, will probably have the most awareness around this. So introverted intuition. This happens to be my hero function. It's my go-to. So I feel like even though it's hard to put into words, I feel like I can give a pretty good indication of what this is like. Introverted intuition is very directional. It is very future oriented. It is picking out the one best future and heading in that direction. It is obsessed with optimizing, refining, and finding the one best path forward. Usually for the user, it's their own personal best path forward, but it really can be anything. It is aware of multiple options, but what, it, what introverted intuition wants to do is eliminate one by one, eliminate those options and find the best one path forward. We want to optimize, we want our future to be of our choosing. For someone with this function as their hero function, such as INFJs and INTJs, this can be pretty intense. There's an intensity there, and especially with INFJs, you may not notice it. They come across very sweet, very caring, but there's an intensity there. Once they have narrowed down that one best possibility and they get that laser focus, they are a force to be reckoned with. The NI parent users, that is the ENFJ and the ENTJ, they're quite similar. They can also come across very intense and they know where they're headed. They're a little bit more responsible with their choice, with making the choice of the one best path forward. Because they have a decision function before that, that is extroverted feeling for the ENFJ and extroverted thinking for the ENTJ, they are more likely to not get stuck in analysis paralysis, like trying to find the one best path, such as the INFJ and INTJ can tend to do. Introverted intuition is always linked to extroverted sensing. We'll talk about this a little bit more in a future video, but just know that if you're an introverted intuition user, you automatically also have extroverted sensing in your stack. Okay, extroverted intuition. Um, both of the types look at possibilities. The difference is um, extroverted intuition users are very expansive. Like they are looking at more and more and more possibilities. They're very excited about the possibilities and um, they actually dislike if it's high up in their stack, such as the extroverted intuition hero users would be the ENFP and the ENTP. Um, they dislike canceling out possibilities. They want as many possibilities available to them as possible. This is exciting to them. To them, this helps them reach their best possible future. They don't want to close anything off too soon. So they want to expand what their possibilities are. In contrast to the NI's directionality and laser focus, NE is very expansive and it can come across kind of chaotic. As I was saying, extroverted intuition is very expansive. It's very exploratory. Um, this is something that the users are doing interactively. They are exploring their outside world. People who have extroverted intuition in their parent slot, that is the second slot, would be like your INFPs and your INTPs. Again, they have a decision function ahead of that in their hero slot, so the INFP would have introverted feeling and the INTP would have introverted thinking. The other types I'll put on the screen that use NE, um, it would be less obvious in. Extroverted intuition is always linked on an axis to introverted sensing, so we'll talk more about that later. Just know if you're an extroverted intuition user, you're automatically an introverted sensor as well. I also would like to note that the intuitive DOMs and people with one of these functions in their top slot will have the opposite intuition function in their shadows. So for example, 
INFJs and INTJs, our um, hero function is introverted intuition. Well, the nemesis function, which is the first function in their shadow, would be extroverted intuition. I myself have pretty strong extroverted intuition. It does tend to be more negative. Um, it's almost like I'm trying to see the possibilities that could thwart my NI, that could interfere with my one best path. So it's not to say that people don't use both because we do. For the extroverted intuition DOMs, the ENFPs and the ENTPs, they prefer that expansiveness, all those possibilities. But if you look at their shadow functions, their first shadow function would be introverted intuition. So they tend to worry more about their own future. So it's not that they don't have an awareness of it. If it's your hero function, it tends to behave more optimistically. If it's your nemesis function, it tends to be more pessimistic. We'll talk more about the slots for cognitive functions as well as the ego versus the shadow in future videos. So if you have questions about that, stay tuned. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. If you found it helpful or you learned something, give it a thumbs up. If cognitive functions could speak part two, introverted intuition. I know things. My perceptions are hard to put into words. So mysterious. I have a very strong sense of what I want and I go after it with intensity. In the zone. Strategic planning zone. I see the future I want and then I reverse engineer my way there like a boss. Daydreams for days. Yes, but what's below the surface? Deeper meanings. <gasps> Flashes of insight. Unconventional. Independent. Why? Unique and creative. Cognitive functions part four, extroverted intuition. I see potential everywhere. All the many possibilities make me very excited. Although narrowing them down to just one kind of stresses me out. I prefer to keep my options open. I love change, in fact, I crave it. Give me all the adventure and new experiences. Unconventional problem solver. Endless idea generator. Off the charts pattern recognition. All that has happened before will happen again. Tend to be aware of what people want and what they're about to do. What if? I combine outward ideas in novel ways. Subscribe to my channel for more free videos around personal development, creativity, and intentional living. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in the next one.